All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back once again doing some more Unity game development junk. If you remember in the last episode, we started working on the interactable objects menu. Let's take a look at the progress that we made. So, oh, we have the beautiful animation going. Stunning. Um, and we got rid of the fly ship tab because we're not going to need that. Ooh, is my character moving away? What the heck is going on? Okay, so as you can see, the animation isn't exactly perfect. But we won't worry about that. Um, you can also see that we upgraded our UI just a smidge so that it fit a little bit better. All right, now we are left with two tabs to deal with, the Engrave Spell tab and the Forge Weapon tab. I have not started working on the weapon forging scripts or anything. It's happening again. Anyway. So, in this episode, we're going to be working on the Engrave Spell scripts. So, first thing is first. We're going to go into our prefabs, go to our player, and it's already set to 2D mode looking at the thing we want. I'm going to disable the HUD. And what exactly do we want to change? Well, in the game, we want to change how we control the words that we put into the spell. So, we need some word controllers. I'm thinking we don't need this item tab because this is pure boss rush. We only need the weapons and the words. I don't think we're going to have any items. So, Let's find out where this is uh, stored. So, all UI. Let's expand our inspector. Um, these are the buttons. We want the content. Spell builder. to spell and I believe we'll have vertical layout group yes and the items tab so in the items tab what do we have we have a image and a scroll so we can remove the scroll and everything underneath it, except for the text, and the text we will label as controls. And That'll be fine for now. Let's expand this so it's actually readable. Nice. And... Let's change the vertical layout group of the items to spell. 
so that there's a bit of a gap between the controls and the weapons. So, top. Uh, doesn't matter. We just want to change the spacing. Set it to 20. And... Yeah. That's pretty good. Then we have items, controls, and weapons. Which, we're not going to touch weapons for now. Alright. What do we want to put in here? I'm going to change this label back, back to text. So that I actually know what it is. Um, first, let's make a grid layout, I think. So, grid layout group. And the text, we are going to give a... <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to give it a layout component, or layout element and tell it to ignore the layout, because we already had it where we wanted it. And we'll reset our um, transform so that it actually is in the right spot. And expand it once again. I'm going to put this at 250 because I like it when it is a nice even number. And now we want to put in some controls in here. So we're going to need buttons and possibly a couple input fields. Alright, so we'll go UI and we're definitely going to need at least four buttons. probably move these uh, controls into here. So we're going to need two more buttons. Actually, three more buttons. And this bottom button will probably end up being the button for completing the spell or saving the spell. So this one will give a layout group. Or a layout element so that it can have like a preferred width or maybe it's minimum width or is it flexible width I don't know we'll worry about that one later for now, let's get Oh, this is expanded. That is rather strange. Did we miss something here? Whatever. 
let's get these uh, controls all sorted out. Um, so, I'm thinking two by uh, five. So, let's get that set. Well, we could probably set weapons to be a child of the word library instead. And then controls would have all of this space. <coughs> okay. But still, it shrinks. Let's take a look at what we got for the vertical layer. back for now. We have label. We have the scroll view. I think what we're going to want here is a duplicate of the word library uh, thing. Basically, we want to have a vertical layout group within the vertical layout group. So let's create an empty. Or we could actually create an image. And it'll probably try to stick it in there because it's uh, just like that, I guess. And let's set the image to be a child of world library or word library. And within this image, we're going to add a vertical layout group. And we're going to copy the component of the vertical layout group of the word library and put it in this new image, which we will call words. Paste it, paste component values. Okay. And then we just can now, in theory, select everything that's within the word library and put that within words. Boom. Nice. Uh, of course, we're going to change words colors to be that see-through gray as usual. And now, hopefully, we can take uh, weapons and drag that as a child of word library. It still is too small, which is pretty weird. Let's see if we have any layout groups in here that are messing with things. We do. OK. 
Okay, so let's shrink that. is no bueno. Not exactly what we want there. So let's remove that. Um, actually, we'll control Z and put that back in. And we'll also go down here to weapons. And we'll do the same thing. Give it a layout component. We'll say uh, preferred height. And now, So weapons is going to need a vertical layout group as well. No. Weapons needs to be a child of something that has a vertical layout group. So we're going to go to Word Library, once again, UI, Image, so it makes a child image, and we're going to call this Weapon, or Weapon, or just Wep, so I can tell the difference. And we're going to add a vertical layout group. And then I believe we can still paste in those values. And then we're going to take weapons and set it as a child of wep. And then we're going to set this text also as a child of wep. And we're going to set the label to be above. And we're going to change the color back to the color that it's supposed to be. See through gray. Um, we're also going to copy the text component right here. Copy component. And paste it into this one. Uh, paste component to values. And we're going to say, set this to words. Not words, weapons. And now, words and web are supposed to be equal, but as you can see, they clearly are not. What is the difference? The difference is that web has a layout element. So, we just have to put the same thing on words. layout element 
selecting a preferred height and increasing it. Beautiful. Um, all right, so now we can get back to the controls that we actually want to start using. First thing is first. Um, the buttons are ugly, but we want to put the control label inside of the gray uh, square, just like we did over here. So let's go and get to that part of the script or that part of the UI elements. So first thing we're going to go to items to spell. We're going to rename this to controls because it's no longer items to spell. And we're going to change this to just library because it's both the weapon library and the spell library. Anyway, back to this. I believe we have a grid layout group already, yes. And this text is already a child, but we don't want it to ignore. But we do want a preferred width. Huh. Weird. Not sure why the layout element isn't working right here. Um. Just playing around with stuff to try to figure out why this is being so weird. Anything work? Hmm. Huh. <sighs> Very strange indeed. Grid layout doesn't seem to work the same way as vertical layouts.
also just remembered we're going to need one more button. And that is the delete button. Okay, um, well, I guess for now we'll just have to live with it, even though I don't like it like this. Um, this one, we can just have it ignore. And put it on the side, like it was originally. Um, let's see. start labeling all these buttons so that we know what we're doing with them. So, first thing, first button is first. We are going to want to find the text. Hmm. Text. This is what? size so this actually readable okay then we have our input fields I'm pretty sure the only time we're gonna be using these is when we are trying to input um, numbers into the uh, different words. There's two types of words that'll take in numbers. There are the reference words, so when you're referencing a specific area of another player's uh, body or aura, and the reference to um, 
attacks, animations, triggers. That's what they are. So this one will be called, oh, I need my placeholder text. Placeholder text, this will be layer, and we'll set this to be bigger. Layer numbers. And then the other one will be other numbers. Okay. Then we're going to have the uh, what? This will be the move weapon up. This one be move weapon down. That way we can like decide which spot we want to put or engrave the spell onto the sword, assuming that we end up doing that. And then we have the make parent. And finally, the make child. And then the delete and the save. So we're going to need to duplicate two more. This one will be delete this one will be save and let's get all these texts and increase their size so that we can actually read them And I think that'll be it for now. Thank you for watching if you did.